hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel i'm ifoma so today we are going to be making this beautiful pencil um gown with a wrap effect at the front so if this look at what you're interested in definitely watch till the end so here this is a um, pattern i'm going to be using to cut out the front which you already know is a wrap front okay is a crossing v neckline so here here is the back pattern you already know how to do this but if you don't know i'm going to put a video down in the description box you should go and check that video out there you are going to see how i was able to craft this back pattern okay but there's nothing much to it this is just the normal that we already know the chest line and the bust line all right so here this is unfold i'm going to open this up and i'm going to draft out the front from this pattern we already have okay so now what you want to determine first is how open you want your crossing V to be if you want it to like expose your boss you can start the crossing from the bust line if you want it to be covered you can start the crossing from the chest if you want it to be highly 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 covered you can start from up above the chest line okay so but what I'm going to go ahead to do now is I'm going to start my crossing from the chest line from here okay which means i'm going to connect this neckline to the chest line then from there i'm going to take it to the tip of my paper okay so i'm going to be using this land a slight curve to achieve this you can use a straight line but i highly suggest you use a slight curve to get this all right so i'm going to connect this like like so it's my curve okay and then I'm going to extend to the neckline. Alright, so this is what we have. So whatever you're doing, make sure that the width of the neck, this is the width of the neck for the back, okay? So whatever you're doing, make sure that the width of the neck for the back is still equal to the width of the neck for the front, okay? So I'm going to use my marker to make this visible enough. For us to um, see what we are doing okay so this is what we have here this is what we are going to have so when we are cutting on our actual fabric we are going to fold our fabric into two and then cut all right so now another thing i'm going to talk about is the bo is the dart okay this dart is going to be the same thing on the down part but for the upper part we are going to stop our dart on the chest line on the bust line instead of extending it to the chest line that we normally do for the back so take note when you are putting your back make sure you stop on the chest line all right so i'm going to go ahead now and cut this out so this is what we have all right so this is what we are going to go ahead to cut out on our actual pattern For the damp part, this is just the usual way we normally cut our damp part. I have the front of the damp part unfold here, folded into two, and I have the back also unfold, but this is going to be the side for the zip allowance. You know you're supposed to be open, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start by taking my waist measurement on the waist part. Alright, so my waist divided by four is what I'm going to be adding here, okay? So if you're going to be putting... If you're going to be putting a dart for yours, you can go ahead and add one inch for the dart allowance. But I'm not going to be putting that, so I'm just going to add only one inch for the shaping, the sewing allowance. But if you're going to put that, if you add one inch for the dart allowance, you're going to go ahead to add another one inch, which is going to make a total of two inches for the extra allowance you're going to be adding. Okay, so from my waist, I normally use nine inches for my hip okay so on my hip line i'm going to divide my hip measurement by four note i'm taking all the measurements from the center front here divide by four and i'm going to be adding one inch to it for my sewing allowance so this is what i have okay on the down part you can either go down straight if you want or you can minus one inch or more from your hip line to get the hem of your skirt pencil skirt so here i'm going to minus one inch from my hip measurement so what i have here is 10 and a half so i'm going to be using nine and a half inches 
on the hem of the skirt here okay so i'm going to go ahead and connect this to the hip line like so okay so for the zipper allowance you can decide to use one inch or one and a half inches depending on how how um, many inches you like using for your zipper allowance okay so another thing i like doing for this front is i like curving it a little bit with just one zero with just 0 0.5 inches just curve it to the actual waist okay this is just because our shape is not always so straight and so pointy so i'm going to be covering this just for the back of the waist part okay so i'm going to go ahead now and cut out so for the slit at the front what i went ahead to do is this is the center front okay this is what i have after cutting so here i'm just going to make sure get my that line which is four inches right my nipple to nipple divided by two this is my dart line because we're going to be slitting on one side all right the slit is on one side so this is my dart line here okay this is my dart line so you have to determine if you want it to be on the left or on the right so me i like my slit being on the left so this is the left i'm going to go ahead and connect my dart line straight okay just draw down your dart line straight so that you can slit on your dart line okay and again you need to measure the length of the slit on your client's body or on your body yourself so when i measured on mine what i have is 18 inches from the waist so i'm going to measure 18 inches from the waist here and this is what i have so which means i'm going to slit to this place okay so go ahead and cut open till you get to this side start sewing i'm going to first of all pipe the neck of the front then pipe the neck of the back as well okay so this is not going to have a lining so i'm going to use this fabric that i cut on a bias form okay if you want to pipe your your project with your fabric always cut it on the bias form or better still use the already made bias to pipe okay always cut in a bias form that is going to make it relaxed and neat all right so i'm going to be using this piece this bias i cut out to pipe the neckline i'm going to be piping it to to the front okay i'm going to pipe it to the front then i'll pipe both the neck of the back all right so after piping i'm going to go ahead and put my dart and then we'll continue from there so this is what we have after we are done turning with the bias and you see this is what it looks like so neat so like i said i turned it to the outside okay to the front now this is the back part right now because we are going to be adding joining this back part to a damp part okay i want it to be very relaxed at the back i'm going to be removing something here this side this zipper side of the back okay it depends on the shape of the person you're working with if you're working with somebody so curvy you can go ahead to remove up to 1.25 okay but me i'm going to remove one inch from here as you see me doing and i'm going to curve it back i'm going to trace it back to the side okay but we're not going to cut all the way through to the side just watch closely to see the way i'm going to be cutting this like this all right so this is going to aid the back to relax very well okay because you know our back is not straight it's going to help the back relax very well so what we have here now we are going to go ahead now and start joining on the damp part so to join at the damp part this is what we have this is the front i also went ahead to pipe this slitting for the front so this is what we have now this is the front right i'm going to notch the midpoint all right so this is the midpoint of the front okay so now you are going to determine which side you want to be wrapping because if you look at the star very well we are going to see that one part is being wrapped okay one part is being sewn to the style and the other one is being wrapped on top okay so you are going to determine this the side you want to be wrapping okay so me i want to be wrapping the right side so i'm going to sew attach the left side 
like this okay attach the left side like this and then we are going to let the right side be flying okay so that means we are going to either fold this right side like this or use something like bias to turn it all right hope you understand this this is the way it's going to be after joining let me set it to be the way it's going to be after joining so this is where it's going to be after joining okay so now we are going to remove one side and join just one so that at the end of the day we are going to be wrapping this one after we wear it all right i hope you understand so i'm going to go ahead and join one part now that one part you're joining is that one part you're joining is determined is the one you want okay it depends on the one you want to join now i want to join the left side so that the right side i can be wrapping it when i wear the clothes okay i hope you understand so i'm going to go ahead and join just one side after joining i'm also going to join the two sides of the back to the damp parts of the back all right i will join then we fix the sleeve and shape i will show us how to shape so this is what we have after we are done fixing the sleeve. Okay, we fix the sleeve. We also went ahead to fix the zipper for the back. Okay, so this is what we have. So now we want to go ahead and shape. All right. So now this is what I have here. I just placed this one. All right. So this wrapping side of the front, the side that is that we not join to the down, is going to be first. We are going to place it on the down first before we place this one at the top. From the back this is the wrong side right so you have to make sure that this one is at the down then this one will be at the top because if you mistakenly put this one inside that means it's not going to work that way you're not going to be seeing the wrap side okay so I'm going to go ahead and shape this is how we are going to place it place this one on top as you can see then we are going to go ahead and shape okay Right, so when we are done shaping, we are through with this. I'm going to show us what this looks like. Okay, so while we are shaping, I also went ahead to prepare um, our rope. All right, so while we are shaping, we are going to put in one rope on this side. This is the way you put the rope inside. Okay, on the which side, I'm going to put one here. And when we are through sewing, we are going to be putting one on the tip of this one, like this. Okay, have you seen? This is the way it's going to be. So I'm going to go ahead now and shape. So guys, this is what it looks like after we are done. Can you see how beautiful this looks? So tell me down in the comment section if you are going to try this. And if you do, please can you post the picture of what you make in the comment section so we'll see how beautiful yours is. Until next time, bye!